You guys, one of the famous religion in Taiwan, which is Yi Guan Dao. Um, this must be a new name for you guys. So um, I'm very honored and pleasure to introduce you guys um, about Yi Guan Dao. Um, I'm now at this Yi Guan Dao temple, they call Holy Temple, which is different from the temple you guys would normally go when you come to Taiwan. And at this holy temple, you guys must be very curious what Yi Guan Dao people worship for, you know, like in Christian, people worship um, uh, Jesus and uh, in the um, Islam, like uh, people worship um, Allah. And what is Yi Guan Dao worship for? Because Ming Ming Shang Di. What is Ming Ming Shang Di? Um, the people in Yi Guan Dao believe in that Ming Ming Shang Di is a super dominant um, of the whole earth and the universe. And just so as um, like a uh, Allah in uh, Islam and just so as like um, Christian God, like uh, the creator. So what Yi Guan Dao people believe in is that um, there is only one creator. And this creator created this whole earth, whole universe. And because this creator wants to educate the people, the human being here, so he sent all different kind of send to set up all different kind of religion. You know, like a confusion, like a uh, uh, confused, or like a, they send a Christian, uh, the Jesus to um, form the Christian, or they send the uh, Muhammad to set up the um, Islam, and uh, just all different kind of. Um, um, laws like the uh, education disciplines to educate the people because this Mimi Sandi create um, all the creatures and the beings that's why it's like a uh, uh, Lao Mu which means mother like uh, all the souls and everything actually come from Lao Mu come from Mimi Sandi and as you guys can see at this holy temple is very different from all the normal temple that you would go what would be the most different part is that these three lights you know, like, a, um, how did you recognize the holy temple um, from different uh, normal temple? It's these three lights. Like, a, usually these three lights has a, like a middle lights, and then the lights on the left hand, left hand side and the right hand side. And these middle lights represent the gods, like a, we say the creator. And on the left hand height, left hand left hand left hand height uh, means that um, sun, and the right hand. Uh, sign means the moon and they uh, represent the power to you know take care of us and take care of a human being and usually you can see uh, all different kind of Buddha on the holy temple and you will wonder like oh my god what do they really worship for because each holy temple I go has different kind of Buddha which means because we actually respect all uh, worship all different kind of saint and Buddha includes Jesus includes Allah and usually um, what we put on the desk is just uh, like a you know presentation you know just one of the kinds uh, it doesn't mean that we only worship them it just we put it on that and now I'm going to like introduce you guys um, the most represent for Buddha which is Mila Buddha and then is um, Ji Gong Living Buddha and then is um, Yue Hui Bodhisattva and this is like uh, the most uh, uh, representative Buddha in the Yi Guan Dao um, so this is like uh, as you can see this is like a holy temple how usually set up and uh, this is um, the report that uh, I am um, telling you so far and then maybe we'll have um, different kind of uh, introduction later on and so far I'll just um, say goodbye to you guys bye <laughs> All right, now I'm going to introduce you guys the history of the Tao. Actually, Tao um, existed before the primordial time, even before the universe was merged. So it was like a, um, there, like a long time ago. Like I told you guys before, Tao actually creates everything. And the first leader of the Tao um, appeared in the 50,000 years ago, the first one, and they passed by generation to generation. Like you guys can see, Laozi and the Confucius is all um, also are um, one of the leaders of the Tao. And like Laozi is like the 14th, and the Confucius is like 15th. And then you know, they just pass by generation to generation. Like you guys can see. And then so far, like until now, 
we have already to the 64th generation and the most important three leaders um, is these three the 70s um, leader calls Lu Zhu and then when he becomes the god his name is Jing Gong Zhu Shi and the 18th generation uh, 18th leader, 18th generation of the leader um, has two. Like uh, one is Tian Ran Gu Fo, and the other one is Zhong Hua Shen Mu. And so far, they've already um, passed away and become one of the Buddha and one of the gods, one of the angels in the heaven, and um, like uh, looking at us and hoping that uh, every one of us can go back to heaven to meet with them. Um, so this is basically the briefly introduction of the Tao. Thanks. Bye. Hi guys, it's me Evelyn again. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you guys that um, the Tao has been spread all over the world. You know, as you guys can see, there are like five continental and uh, like a worthwhile, like in every country, you can see the religion made of Yiguan Dao in each one of the country. And what does Yiguan Dao really do? Um, Yiguan Dao is actually like in Taiwan, Yiguan Dao is doing all kinds of charity work. Like uh, we take care of elders regularly, we also take care of orphans, and uh, we also promote a Chinese culture. And the most importantly is that uh, we have been uh, promote the conception of failure piety, you know, which is like uh, respect your parents, respect the elder, and then you know, like uh, listen to them, and then don't do things to hurt them. Like uh, the concept of failure piety, it's. Uh, actually the main idea we've been uh, promoting for and um, so far this is the uh, briefly introduction of Yiguan Dao for you guys and if you have any question and then you happen to be in Taiwan like uh, these days um, at until like uh, the end of this month you can come to Miao Li and uh, here is a Latin festival and uh, we also have this um, English uh, people to like uh, introduce um, those uh, environment for you guys and uh, if you have any question you are most welcome to write an email to us and we would love to to um, give you all the answer that you want all right thanks bye bye hi guys it's me Evelyn again yeah I lie I haven't finished yet <laughs> because I just realized there's a very important um, culture that I have to introduce to you guys have you guys seen this pine tree um, usually pine tree was planted in the temple means welcome so this pine tree is very important that uh, um, uh, it shows that this temple like will welcome everybody to come so yeah I just want to tell you guys about this pine tree and there's more wait for me all right see you later Alright guys, after this whole history story of Tao, do you think we don't have this serious part? No, 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 no. We also have fun part. Did you guys know what does this mean? You know when you go to your temple, if there is a pool of water in there, the water inside uh, means money. So water means good. And then usually we have this um, tradition, like uh, when we come to temple, when we see this pool of water, what we would do is that we would throw out a coin into the water, into this the little thing, and then if you got it there, which means we you will bring tons of money back in the future, in the coming year. And if you don't, that's fine too, which means that you will have a tons of luck. So no matter what, you just have to try it. And now I'm going to um, uh, do this for you guys one time, and hopefully I will get it in. Yeah, I wanna. I kind of need some money here. All right, so wish me luck. Cross your finger for me, okay? Apparently, I'm going to have a lot of work in the coming year. So, if you guys ever come here or come to the Holy Temple and see the water in the temple, you guys, please, please, have to try this because you will br bring you luck or money. And yeah, I'm not going to lie this time. This time, we really have to s say goodbye. And remember, if you have any question, you are most welcome to check us online um, of Yi Guan Dao. Alright, bye! Thank you.
翁伟珍翁讲师。伟珍来自我们道场的道贩家庭，从小在我们道场学习、学习长大，对于这个英文的造诣以及这个学习的兴趣都很好。觉得我发挥作用。或者觉得他讲的非常的详尽。用英文来介绍一贯道，对我们来讲，我真正的讲得很好。谢谢，谢谢。